I'm going to do an anterior buildup utilizing the VM9 on a zirconia coping. The bonding layer has already been placed on that. The one big technique that I do is I try to incorporate everything in the buildup. Because things don't shrink and the materials don't shrink that much, and we're not going to disturb the product in terms of when we're going to in condensing because we're going to blot as we build. And we're not going to do any mechanical thing to, to disturb anything. And I take 50% of the base dentin and 50% of the transpedentin of the same shade and mix them together to create a dentin powder. And this is probably one of the most efficient ways to utilize the base dentin transpedentin system because now you can just do a normal buildup and then cut back for your normal and size of layering. And if you do overbuild a little bit and you have to reduce, you're still in the same material. Now we can make a coping that will duplicate that shape and we'll have a lot of space for porcelain in approximately and in size. Unfortunately what's going to happen with that is that we're going to get more shrinkage because we're using a larger volume of material. So rather than using like that, let's use one that has been designed to give us more support, less amount of material and approximately and in size. So therefore we get less shrinkage and we don't have to compensate. So we're putting a layer of 1M1 base dentin on there and I'm going to blot. And we'll just continue this process to put this thin layer underneath the entire transpa layer, which we're going to apply after this. Again, and we're just using these materials in a very, very basic fashion right now. Just keeping in mind that it's not going to shrink much. Now we'll go to the transpedentin. And I'll layer this transpedentin on top of the base. And I'm going to be blotting from the lingual almost consistently here so that I don't displace any of the base dentin. I'm going to say short of the gingival so that that increase of chroma and opacity will show up in the neck of the crown. And you can see how wet that material is. Now when I add that tissue, look at that. It just sucks it right out. Generally what I'm doing right now, this crown will probably take about 12 to maybe 15 minutes to do the entire buildup. And now this is just the enamel. And we're going to build this one up just a little bit longer than what the adjacent tooth is. Take some window. And we're overlapping the enamel with the window so that you don't see a line. And I'll take a little bit of the enamel, build up a cingulum, contour the inside of the ledge to match that of the adjacent tooth with your brush. All right, here's our sensual VM9 incisor and uh, right out of the oven. The next step would be just to blast this with aluminous oxide, steam clean it, and if you want to add a little bit of surface staining, we certainly can do that if necessary, and then we'll just go ahead and, and glaze it under a normal glaze. And the total thickness of porcelain on this crown is one millimeter. Don't overbuild, you're creating more work for yourself. There's no reason to do that. And I know that's going to be hard because we're creatures of habit, especially for those who have been doing this for a while. The second thing is to blot as you build, not to try to mechanically condense, because why destroy or vibrate or disturb the things that you're trying to create? A painter doesn't go and creates a, a, a beautiful picture and then takes a rag and messes it all up. He's destroyed it. So don't do any of the condensing and you'll find the time savings are going to be incredible.